the ideas. This can work as a dessert too. I've been having this two or three times a week or maybe a bit more than that. And I just want to share this one. You only need three things and some tools. The things you need are an apple, a banana, and some peanut butter. I'm only going to be using half of my apple because this turns out to be quite a lot. And I'm going to be using the whole banana for this. And we're going to start by just cutting the apple, cutting into really, really tiny, tiny pieces because this is going to be more than anything as a garnish or sprinkles for this, for this matter. And then I'm going to just peel my banana and I'm just going to cut kind of slices and just make them as thin or as thick as you like. And then here is where you want to kind of uh, choose which ones you want to sandwich and which ones you want to have as, as single desserts or snacks. You know, take your time doing this, choosing which, which ones look best as, you know, sandwiches and all that stuff. And because I'm feeling a bit fancy here, I'm taking my piping tape number 21 from Wilson and my piping bag and all that stuff. And I'm putting my, my peanut butter inside of that, my, my piping bag. And I'm pretty much kind of swirling around as if it was, you know, cupcakes, if it, this was frosting on your cupcakes. The same thing, but in smaller, kind of miniature version of it. And this is the idea number one. I think it looks cu super cute. It's kind of a fancier way to just eat your snack in the afternoons. So if you're having, you know, people, guests over and stuff like that, you can give them, you know, as a dessert. So this is it for the first idea. And for the second idea, I'm pretty much just going to grab the same ones and I'm going to just add my really, really sharp apples on the top. And because of the consistency of your peanut butter, you're going to find out that if you like take each piece of apples, they're going to actually stay in place because it's quite sticky that the consistency of your peanut butter. So you're going to be able to just place your apples wherever you want. And I think this is kind of the artistic part where you can kind of make them look like super fancy. And that's kind of the second idea, which I really liked. And the third and final idea is like sandwiching those things. For this one, you're not going to be needing a fancy piping tip. You're just going to be using a Ziploc bag, placing your, your peanut butter inside and just cutting a small tiny hole. And then just grabbing your slices of banana and then just placing on the middle part your your filling which in this case is your peanut butter and then you're just going to add your apples on the top of that and then just cover the whole thing by just putting the the other slice of your banana to just sandwich the whole thing and that's pretty much the third idea and i thought of adding something cuter to it and you can pretty much write things with that ziploc bag and your peanut butter i wrote hello because i just want to say hi i didn't have enough sandwich bananas to write a thank you note so i just want to say hello and to kind of share with you these three ideas thank you so much for watching if you like them don't forget to give me a thumbs up share it and if you go ahead and try them don't forget to send your creations over twitter and instagram i would love to see that and don't forget to subscribe for more stuff thank you so much for watching and i'll talk to you next weekend bye guys